Hey guys, what's going on? X1 more, XP Lewis in here. Back with another video, and today I'm going to teach you how to do an insane XP farm to grind for so many coins, and it's just going to be a, a great thing. Now, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to the multiplayer portal. When you want to start a private play, go to Herbal Assault, select the map to be used on Burbia, and set the difficulty to easy and normal. Plants to none, zombies to cosmic overload, and you jump right into the portal. Now this is a really cool farm that I found on my own. I don't know if someone's already done this, but I'm guessing that someone probably has already. But what you're going to do is you're going to place a pea shooter and use uh, a bean bomb. Besides dark bean bomb, because this doesn't work with this XP farm, you're going to want to use some barrel or a chili bean bomb. Um, some barrels more recommended. And what you're going to do is, first of all, you're going to want to take out the turrets at the top to get rid of it. Because they're going to do a lot of damage to you later on, and you just want to get rid of them because they're going to be a pain. But um, what you're going to do is, there's going to be a bunch of cosmic brain just run around the map, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to wait until you're at really low health, wait for like a lot of um, the cosmic brains to get around you, sort of. Then you throw a bean bomb at your feet and stand next to the bean bomb. Now what this is going to do is the super brains, or the cosmic brains are going to run up to you, it's going to start punching you and punching you and trying to kill you, and since you're standing next to the bean bomb, the bean bomb will go off and kill so many of them. Now, right here, I'm doing the um, XP farm, and I'm not uh, going to get too many kills because it's just the beginning part, and you never get kills in the beginning. And for the rest of this XP farm, you're just going to keep sprinting with your hyper ability, standing near the super brains, and just beam bombing at your feet. Now, what this will do, it'll give you lots of XP to get, and of course, you're going to level up, level up, and then you prestige your characters, or you just rank them up to a new rank. Uh, whatever terms you want to put it in. This, this time we got separated from the bean bomb because I got pushed, so I only got one kill. But you can see I'm already at level two. And usually what I'm finding is that um, if you didn't know this already, just so you know, um, every single time you level up, it takes more XP to get to the next level. And I find myself always getting around like level seven when I start from level one in this glitch. So that's really good too. And also, you can also just kill the zombies when you, when you're not like close enough for some bear, or you don't have some bear being gone. Just kill them in any way that you possibly can, because you want to just get like all of the XP that you possibly can. So that way you can just max out prestige or rank up your characters, and you can just get so much money from that. Because every time you rank up, you get like 20k, I believe, and it's just great. Now I'm just speeding this part up for a time because I mean you guys know how to do it. Just keep running in, bean bomb and go in again, bean bomb, etc, etc. Cycle just continues and you just for like six and a half minutes and the rewards aren't that great, you only get like 4k. But if you do this twice, you can pretty much prestige one character which is already 20k. And you can already do some work on another pea shooter. Now the thing is, this also works for corn as well, but I find that this works for pea shooter better. But the only problem with this is, if you've already got all, all um, pea shooters mastered, then this really can't help you that much, considering that you can't rank up and get money from it. But um, if you, in this next clip, if you look, you can see that I've mastered two pea shooters off of this and gone a couple to advance and another couple to specialist. And I mean, I only discovered this like a couple days ago. I, the day I discovered it, I was actually doing a live stream on it. And um, let's just cut to the part where you can look at all my um, bobbleheads and what ranks they are. And then right here, as we respawn back in, we just walk into like the little tree hut and die flamingos. He, he does deserve to live. Um, but anyways, <laughs> like I was saying, just walk in and I've gotten a super elite um, Agent P, I've mastered the Plasma P and Fire P off of this, and um, if you just look like on the XP earned, it's a lot actually, like for Toxic P and Fire P and also um, Plasma P, it's a lot of XP that was earned, and um, so if you do, if you just look at the scroll, like all, like every um, of my P shooters has a rank now, so none of them I've not, like, they're all over basically level 10, to put in technical terms like that, I guess you would say. And, um, yeah, that's really gonna be it. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and hopefully this can get you a lot of money, because I know it's been helping me. And I also got a piece of computer scientist off of this glitch, which is, um, 
Uh, the first legendary I've ever gone. The first legendary sticker. Alright, see you guys next time. Next one, please. Is that?